Rodney Badger here. Today I'm going to be uh, installing a uh, Square D home line uh, whole home surge protection device into this load center. Watch and learn. Alright, well the first thing you want to do is make sure that you've ordered the correct product. This is a home line whole home surge protection device and you need to make sure that you have the same kind of load center or it won't fit. So this is a home line load center so I know it's going to fit and so the first thing we're going to do here is shut off the main power. And we can take off the panel. There's just three screws holding the panel cover on here, here, and here. And then the cover will just come right off. Okay, I got the main switched off, but just remember this is still hot up here. Everything below here is disabled, but this is hot, so stay away from there. Okay, just showing you, I got my meter set to AC volts. I'm reading zero volts on the hot to the neutral, so we are safe. So what's recommended is that the uh, surge suppressor be installed as close to the main breaker as possible. So I'm looking in here at the wiring. Um, this wiring here for this, this is the sub panel here going to the panel inside the house. And I really don't think I can move this down one. The wire gauge is just too thick and I don't have a lot of room to play there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these three on this side and move them down one and then put the uh, surge arrestor right here. So to remove one of these things, you just slide it out. You pull it out from the inside here. Like so. As you can see, they lock. They've got these little locking tabs that lock in back here. And you, you put that in first, and then you just push down, push them down onto the uh, bus bar. Okay, you just got to get that, get this thing in exactly the right position. And try to get those little jaws started over here, and then you can push it down like so. I'm going to do the same thing to these two here. Okay, I've got all three of them moved down. Kind of just rearranging, rearrange the uh, wires. Get them tucked back into the panel. I see I had a lot more play and give here uh, to relocate these. And now I just got to put the uh, this guy on right here. So for this guy, you're supposed to get the the uh, neutral bar draw on all the way first, and then push down the face. Look so. Hey. <laughs> so that's really all there is to it. Um, I'm just gonna put the panel back on and uh, make sure the light comes on. When I turn it on, and we'll be good to go. Of course, before you put the panel back on, you have to knock out two, two more cutouts since you just uh, moved everything down two spaces. So I'm going to do that, knock that out. Uh, just got a pliers here. I'm just using these pliers here. Push these guys off. Okay, got the cover back on. I'm just going to flip the mains back on. And you can see the LED came on, saying we are protected. Flip my breakers back on. And the last thing. 
thing I need to do is relabel the panel since I've moved things around. And that's it. Hope this helps somebody. So, uh, this is a really simple job. I mean, this literally took me about five minutes to do. And uh, it's really, if, if you've got room in your load center, it's and you don't have one of these, it's really one of the best things you can do for your house. Um, you're going to be not blowing as many LED bulbs, you're not having your appliances fried, uh, computer equipment and stuff. Everything is going to be protected from out here. And um, this is a rental unit, but I've had, I've had a home light, actually a lower quality version like this. This is a 50,000 amp. I've had a 25,000 amp version on my house for the last 23 years, and I've never had any kind of failure. We get a lot of lightning storms and surges, power surges, power outages all the time, and I've never had anything fail. So, uh, you know, this thing costs less than 100 bucks. <laughs> so it's, it's definitely worth doing. Uh, so I highly recommend it. Honey Badger out.